Good evening. My name is Miguel Sid, and um, my piece is entitled A Shorty with a Forty. <laughs> a good house party is made up of three components. The house, plenty of alcohol, and equal or close to ratio of women to men. <laughs> this party had one house, plenty of alcohol, plus one sausage fest. <laughs> I didn't care, it was better than going home to the solitude of my messy house. I spent many nights at Linda's house celebrating, planting myself by the keg and ice chest, halfway hoping to meet a pretty girl. And I think everyone's pretty. Usually, one never arrives, but this time, someone did. She made her way to the backyard, accompanied by some guy in a plain old leather jacket. Ugh, another couple. Hey, Linda. My friend in leather jacket hugged, hugged one another. This is my neighbor and best friend, Miriam. All right. We all said hello. Leather jacket went on and on about his and Miriam's longtime friendship. Then Miriam blurted out, it's my birthday. <laughs> Congratulations, can I get you a drink or something? Ready to show off my bartending skills, I named a few drinks that I had learned at the prestigious California School of Bartending. <laughs> I've been waiting all day for a drink. I could take a 40. Like bat hawks, my brother and one of my buddies came flying in out of nowhere. You can't drink, you don't know anything about 40s. Those are for the big dogs, what, what? Hey, 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 get her 40. I bet you can't drink one. Great, the wolf pack entered the conversation, probably there to embarrass me or scare her away with her verbal ass grabbing. I didn't think she was gonna give in, but her shoulders and hips got loose and she welcomed the challenge. I could drink a whole 40 in one drink. Psh. She reminded me of uh, one of my old roommates and the bullshit that used to come out of his mouth. No one drinks 40 ounce beers in one chug, especially not a regular sized chick. My pal came back with two beers in hand, gave one to the lady, and offered me one. I accepted the giant baby bottle looking beer. I'm not gonna pound this. Seconds later, my buddy announced, Ladies and gentlemen, today is Miriam's birthday and she's gonna chug a whole 40. Chug, 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 chug. Everyone joined in as my pals rallied the chant. Chug, chug, chug. Miriam cracked the top and up went the bottom. Yeah, right, she can't drink that shit. Oh, oh God. Yes, she can. <laughs> Three minutes had passed, and she had almost done it. I think she had a special technique that allowed her to take a break while the bottom was up, or she was just that good. As she rounded the corner, the crowd started back up with a chant, rallying her to the finish line. Chug, 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 chug. She had almost done it. She finished everything, babas and all. My mouth hung open. Who was this urban beauty with skin like mine, who in seven minutes flat shattered my idea of how a lady should act? She wasn't a size three, she didn't drink a strawberry daiquiri, and she wasn't afraid to take charge. I hate doing all the leading in a relationship, and everyone that knows me knows how uncomfortable I can be with the pretty ladies. Her aura was pure confidence. She owned that moment. I fell in love. <laughs> I imagined myself piggyback riding with her in fields of purple grass. Her, me on her back, her holding double fisting, golden sparkling 40 chalices, 40 ounce chalices. She stuck the landing and smiled with bottle raised high as, fear, as fans cheered in her moment. I could not fight the feelings I had for this pretty rascal. 
rushed to congratulate Miriam. Even my buddy and brother came to bask. Leather jacket snarked. This isn't the first time she's done this. <laughs> I looked down at the heavy beer in hand and began to guzzle. I had to catch up. I only got four gulps in when my eyes began to water. I didn't want to admit it, but she had me on the beer game. The night went on, and my beer queen didn't really drink much else except for a few swigs from mine. We hit it off sloppy. <laughs> Leather jacket told me Miriam was digging me. That's all I needed to hear. We were talking close, intimate. I could smell the alcohol flowing out of her body. <laughs> you know? It's a damn good party when you want to make out with a girl that just pounded a fucking 40. <laughs> and I always fall for the girls that just pounded a 40. <laughs> You're cute, she said. I hate that compliment. I'm not a baby or a shivering kitten. <laughs> but for my darling Miriam, I'll be cute. I'll be so cute. Our eyes locked, and it got quiet between us. It started off as a small kiss, then hit the gas, and we were knocking heads like battling elephant seals. <laughs> we were stabbing our tongues down one another's throat, and our hands wrapped tight around the back of my head. We were next to the cooler, the keg, and the entrance to the house, but we did not care. When I would come up for air, I would catch glimpses of my friends looking at me grossed out and happy at the same time. <laughs> Half an hour later, we walked back to my bros in leather jacket. They had become drinking pills. I'm going back to his place, she said to leather. Everyone looked at me. <laughs> yeah. And it was settled. She clubbed me over the head and was dragging me home. <laughs> Leather took down my number, and after a long goodbye, we headed out. After the most amazing night I can't remember, I woke up in bed <laughs> grinning. I was cold, wet, and my back felt slick and hella sweaty. This was too much cold and wet to be sweat. My whole bed was soaked. I rolled onto the edge trying to make sense of the situation. This was highly unusual for me. <laughs> then I understood when I saw her laying there so peaceful. What did I expect from the shorty with the 40? <laughs> I, didn't want, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to be rude, but I didn't want to just sit there. Should I wake the shit out of her or let her be? <laughs> I always fall for the shorties with 40s. The one night stand pisser, huh? But I just sat there and watched in amazement, only taking in the good, because I couldn't help myself. She's still a girl with a vagina, and she did totally let me borrow it. <laughs> I liked her, the way she made me feel the night before. I needed it. She was an escape, a temporary shelter from the waves. I knew it wouldn't last, it couldn't. She opened her eyes smiled at me, ignoring the sogginess. You all right? She said, still smiling. Yeah. I couldn't hold back anymore. Uh, it's wet. <laughs> Don't you remember you knocked down your beer last night? She pointed above my head at the beer bottle on the windowsill. But the bottle had been there since last month. I could have told her what we both knew, but I didn't. We pretended it was a beer that spilled, and in a way, it was. <laughs> we hung out all day as if we had been lovers for years and nothing else mattered. For one moment, I felt a love like I had never experienced before. And that feeling wouldn't have come to be without the help of that 40 ounce. Thank you. <laughs>